Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a topic that has impacted every corner of the globe, the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's unravel how this crisis unfolded from its emergence to becoming a global pandemic. It all began in late 2019 when a novel coronavirus later named SARS-CoV-2 was identified in Wuhan, China. This virus, which causes the disease COVID-19, quickly spread, catching the world off guard. By March 2020, the World Health Organization had declared it a pandemic, acknowledging its worldwide impact. The response to the virus varied significantly across countries. In the United States, the administration faced criticism for its initial handling of the outbreak. Efforts to ramp up testing and enforce quarantines were met with challenges, leading to widespread transmission. Meanwhile, the vaccine race was on. By late 2020, several vaccines, including Pfizer and Moderna, had shown promise in trials. However, not all countries played fair. Reports indicated that Russian intelligence launched a disinformation campaign against the Pfizer vaccine, trying to boost their own Sputnik Vive vaccine, which controversially skipped crucial phase three trials. The Biden administration took significant steps to combat the virus, including the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, which aimed to jumpstart the economy and facilitate the vaccine rollout. The plan was ambitious likened to historical efforts like the Marshall Plan, emphasizing the need for strong leadership and global cooperation. As we look back, the pandemic laid bare the strengths and weaknesses of global health systems. It taught us about resilience, the importance of science, and the undeniable value of cooperation. As countries continue to navigate the challenges, the legacy of this pandemic will undoubtedly shape health policies and emergency responses for years to come. So, what can we learn from this? The importance of preparedness cannot be overstated. Investing in health infrastructure and fostering international collaboration are crucial to managing future crises effectively. Thanks for tuning in. Understanding our past challenges is key to building a safer, healthier future. Stay curious, stay informed, and see you in the next video. Now let's zoom in on the initial outbreak in Wuhan, China. In December 2019, hospitals in Wuhan began seeing a surge in patients with pneumonia-like symptoms, but the cause was unknown. On December 31st, Chinese authorities alerted the World Health Organization about a cluster of pneumonia cases in the city. This marked the first official acknowledgement of what would soon become a global crisis. By early January, Chinese scientists had isolated the virus and shared its genetic sequence with the world. This rapid sharing of information was crucial for global researchers to begin developing diagnostic tests and eventually vaccines. However, the initial response was marred by delays and lack of transparency. Whistleblower doctors like Dr. Li Wenliang tried to warn their colleagues and the public about the severity of the virus, but faced reprimands from local authorities. Tragically, Dr. Li later succumbed to the virus himself, becoming a symbol of the early struggle against COVID-19. As the virus spread, Wuhan went into an unprecedented lockdown on January 23, 2020, affecting millions of residents. This drastic measure aimed to contain the outbreak but also highlighted the gravity of the situation. The lockdown bought crucial time for other countries to prepare, but the virus had already begun its global journey. By the time the world realized the full extent of the outbreak, COVID-19 had silently crossed borders, setting the stage for a pandemic. The early days in Wuhan serve as a poignant reminder of the importance of transparency, timely action, and the courage of frontline workers who risk their lives to keep us safe. Let's take these lessons to heart as we continue to combat this and future health crises. As the world watched Wuhan, COVID-19 silently began its global march. By February 2020, the virus had spread to multiple countries. In Italy, a sudden surge in cases overwhelmed the healthcare system, leading to nationwide lockdowns. Images of deserted streets and crowded hospitals became a grim reality for many. Countries like South Korea and Japan quickly implemented mass testing and contact tracing, showcasing the importance of swift action. Meanwhile, in the United States, initial responses varied, with some regions imposing strict measures while others hesitated, leading to disparate outcomes across the nation. In Iran, the virus spread rapidly, with significant impacts on its healthcare system and economy. Europe soon became the epicenter, with Spain, France, and the UK facing severe outbreaks. The virus's reach extended to every continent, affecting millions of lives and economies worldwide. International travel restrictions, quarantines, and social distancing became the new norm. 
the global economy took a massive hit, with businesses shuttering and unemployment rates soaring. Yet, amidst the chaos, communities came together, supporting one another through acts of kindness and solidarity. The World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic on March 11, 2020, recognizing the virus's widespread impact. This announcement marked a turning point, prompting countries to ramp up their efforts to curb the spread. The global spread of COVID-19 highlighted the interconnectedness of our world. It underscored the importance of international cooperation, timely information sharing, and the resilience of the human spirit. As we navigate this unprecedented crisis, we must remember the lessons learned and work together to build a healthier, more prepared future. As COVID-19 spread across the globe, healthcare systems faced unprecedented challenges. Hospitals and clinics were quickly overwhelmed by the sheer number of patients requiring urgent care. In Italy, doctors and nurses worked around the clock, often without adequate protective equipment to save lives. Makeshift hospitals were set up in convention centers and sports arenas to accommodate the overflow of patients. In New York City, the epicenter of the outbreak in the United States, medical facilities reached their breaking point. The city's hospitals ran out of ventilators, and healthcare workers faced harrowing decisions about who would receive life-saving treatments. Similar scenes played out in cities across the world from Mumbai to Sao Paulo as the virus exposed the vulnerabilities in even the most advanced healthcare systems. The pandemic also highlighted disparities in healthcare access. In many developing countries, limited resources and underfunded healthcare systems struggled to cope with the crisis. Rural areas and underserved communities were particularly hard hit, with residents facing long journeys to reach the nearest hospital. Despite these challenges, the pandemic also spurred innovation and collaboration. Telemedicine became a vital tool, allowing patients to receive care without leaving their homes. Researchers and pharmaceutical companies around the world raced to develop treatments and vaccines, sharing data and resources in an unprecedented global effort. Healthcare workers emerged as heroes, risking their own lives to care for others. Their dedication and resilience inspired communities to rally behind them, providing support through donations, meals, and messages of gratitude. The strain on healthcare systems worldwide underscored the need for investment in public health infrastructure and preparedness. As we move forward, it is crucial to strengthen these systems to better withstand future crises and ensure that everyone has access to quality healthcare. The strain on healthcare systems worldwide underscored the urgent need for a vaccine. Scientists and researchers around the globe embarked on an unprecedented race to develop a solution that could bring the pandemic to an end. The speed and scale of this effort were nothing short of remarkable. In record time, multiple vaccines were developed, tested, and approved for emergency use. This rapid progress was made possible by years of prior research on similar viruses, significant funding, and international collaboration. The development process was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Traditional methods of vaccine development, which often took years, were expedited thanks to new technologies like mRNA. Companies such as Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna were among the first to receive emergency use authorization, marking a turning point in the fight against COVID-19. Once vaccines were approved, the focus shifted to distribution, a colossal challenge in itself. Governments, nonprofits, and private sectors joined forces to ensure that vaccines reached every corner of the globe. Cold chain logistics, which required maintaining vaccines at extremely low temperatures, posed significant hurdles. Yet despite these challenges, millions of doses were shipped and administered within months. The vaccination campaigns were a beacon of hope, but they also highlighted global inequities. Wealthier nations secured large quantities of vaccines, while many developing countries struggled to obtain sufficient doses. Initiatives like COVAX aim to address these disparities by providing vaccines to lower-income countries, but the road to equitable distribution remained fraught with obstacles. Public response to the vaccines was mixed. While many eagerly awaited their turn to get vaccinated, misinformation and vaccine hesitancy posed significant barriers. Governments and health organizations launched extensive public education campaigns to combat misinformation and encourage vaccination. As more people received their shots, the world began to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Vaccine rollouts brought down infection rates, allowing societies to slowly reopen and return to a semblance of normalcy. 
The success of the vaccines underscored the importance of scientific research and global cooperation in overcoming one of the most significant public health crises of our time. The race for a vaccine was not just a scientific triumph but also a powerful reminder of what humanity can achieve when united by a common goal. As we reflect on this monumental effort, we recognize the countless individuals, scientists, healthcare workers, and volunteers, whose tireless work brought us closer to ending the pandemic. While the world focused on the health crisis, the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic was equally profound. Almost overnight, global economies came to a standstill as lockdowns and social distancing measures were implemented to curb the virus's spread. Businesses, both large and small, faced unprecedented challenges. Many were forced to close their doors, leading to widespread job losses and financial insecurity for millions of people. Industries such as tourism, hospitality, and retail were hit particularly hard. With travel restrictions in place, airlines grounded flights, hotels remained vacant, and restaurants struggled to survive. The ripple effect was felt across supply chains affecting manufacturing and trade. Stock markets experienced extreme volatility, and governments worldwide scrambled to implement economic relief packages. Central banks lowered interest rates and launched stimulus programs to support struggling economies. In many countries, direct financial aid was provided to individuals and businesses to help them weather the storm. However, the effectiveness of these measures varied, and the pandemic exposed and exacerbated existing economic inequalities. Remote work became the new norm for many, accelerating the adoption of digital technologies. While some sectors saw growth and adaptation, others lagged behind, unable to transition quickly enough. The gig economy faced its own set of challenges, with many workers left without adequate protection or support. As the pandemic continued, the long-term economic consequences became more apparent. Debt levels soared, and the risk of a prolonged recession loomed large. Recovery efforts required coordinated global action, much like the public health response. International organizations, governments, and financial institutions worked together to develop strategies for rebuilding economies and ensuring a more resilient future. The economic fallout of the pandemic was a stark reminder of our interconnected world. It highlighted the need for robust social safety nets, adaptable business models, and international cooperation. As we move forward, the lessons learned from this crisis will shape our approach to future economic challenges and help build a more sustainable and equitable global economy. In the face of adversity, the resilience and adaptability of individuals and communities shone through. Stories of innovation, solidarity, and support emerged, offering hope and inspiration for the road ahead. As we continue to navigate the economic recovery, we remember the importance of unity and collaboration in overcoming even the most daunting challenges. As the world grappled with the economic and health crises brought on by COVID-19, the social and psychological effects of the pandemic also became increasingly evident. The sudden shift to lockdowns and social distancing measures led to an unprecedented level of isolation for millions. Human connections, which we often take for granted, were disrupted, leaving many to cope with loneliness and anxiety. With schools closed and remote learning in place, children and teenagers faced unique challenges. The lack of in-person interaction with peers and teachers affected their social development and mental well-being. Parents, too, found themselves under immense pressure, juggling work-from-home responsibilities while caring for their families. The elderly, particularly those in care facilities, were among the most vulnerable. Separated from loved ones, they experienced heightened levels of loneliness and fear. The inability to hold traditional funerals and memorial services added to the emotional burden for those grieving the loss of family and friends. Mental health professionals reported a significant increase in cases of depression, anxiety, and other mental health disorders. The uncertainty of the situation, combined with the constant barrage of news about the virus, exacerbated stress levels. Many people turned to virtual therapy sessions and online support groups to find solace and connection. Despite the challenges, the pandemic also brought out incredible acts of kindness and community spirit. People came together in innovative ways to support one another, from organizing virtual gatherings to delivering groceries and essentials to those in need. Social media and technology played a crucial role in maintaining connections, allowing people to stay in touch with loved ones and participate in virtual events. As we navigate the ongoing impact of the pandemic, it is crucial to prioritize mental health and well-being. Governments and organizations around the world, 
are recognizing the importance of mental health support and are working to provide resources and services to those affected. The social and psychological effects of the pandemic serve as a reminder of the importance of human connection and the need for a compassionate society. By addressing these challenges head on, we can build a more resilient and supportive world for everyone. While the world continues to deal with the fallout of COVID-19, there is a heightened focus on preventing future pandemics. Governments, scientists, and organizations globally are collaborating to strengthen healthcare systems, improve surveillance, and develop rapid response strategies. One of the critical areas of focus is enhancing disease surveillance. Advanced technologies, including artificial intelligence and big data analytics, are being employed to predict and track potential outbreaks. By analyzing patterns and trends, health authorities can identify threats early and implement containment measures swiftly. Vaccine research has also seen unprecedented advancements. The success of mRNA vaccines has opened new avenues for rapid vaccine development. Researchers are now working on universal vaccines that could offer protection against multiple strains of viruses. In addition to technological advancements, there is a push for international cooperation. The World Health Organization and other global bodies are advocating for stronger international health regulations and more robust funding for pandemic preparedness. Countries are encouraged to share data and resources transparently and to support each other in crisis situations. Public health education is another vital component. Efforts are being made to raise awareness about hygiene practices, the importance of vaccinations, and the need for quick action when symptoms arise. Community engagement and education can empower individuals to take preventive measures and reduce the spread of infectious diseases. Moreover, the pandemic has highlighted the importance of addressing social determinants of health. Efforts are being made to ensure equitable access to healthcare, especially for vulnerable populations. Strengthening healthcare infrastructure in low- and middle-income countries is crucial for global health security. In the wake of COVID-19, the world is more prepared and more vigilant. By learning from this pandemic and implementing these measures, we can mitigate the impact of future outbreaks and build a safer, healthier world for all.